I'm Muriel. I'm, I'm 86. I'm not working on all cylinders, so to speak. I'm Alan's and Geordie. Confusing than that. And that's life I've had all over the place. Loads of things have happened. Things always changed. It's and just something, something you've, you've got, got to deal with. with. And, and that's, that's the way I look at life. life. You've just, just got, got to deal with it. it. I'm Muriel. I'm 86. And I'm still dealing with it. I'm a London Geordie. My mum was visiting a sister down in Durham, so I was born there. So I'm a London Geordie. A London Geordie? That's me. My brother's a proper cockney. He was born to the sound of bow bells. Tinglingly. But me, I'm a London Geordie. China plate? Mate. Two and eight? State. Oh, it's a right two and eight in here. It's a right two and eight in here. It's a right two and eight in here. I won't talk long, I don't want to bore you. Well, I'll try. My mouth's always been getting me into some sort of trouble somewhere. Stop babbling, Muriel, they'd say, and let someone else have a chance. Obviously, that annoyed me a bit. I mean, in my opinion, life's too short to be waiting around. You've, You've got, got to stick to what you know and don't let anyone tell you any different. That always takes me back to school. I didn't like school. Nah, not for me, really. I like the coming home the best. Not the going, but the coming home. I left at 14. Teacher's always on my case for this, that and the other. Of course, I was no good at school, no. So I don't suppose I blame them for being involved. Thick as three short planks I was. I was always out in the playground, climbing a tree instead of focusing. Then one of these sour-faced teachers, you know the kind, lips pierced together like she's just eaten a lemon, come up to the trunk and shout, Muriel, get down from there. That's no way to behave. But I've always thought, well, rules are meant to be broken. You've just got to do it with a gentle crack. I remember. What? what? Being told by one of her teachers as I was about to break free from the rule abiding ropes of school. I don't know what you're going to do, Muriel. God help you. 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 I don't know what you're going to do, Muriel. God help you. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Spot welding. Me husband couldn't believe it. Telling Shoe that Freedom Harley and Willis. Usherette. Six puns for an ice cream. Six puns for an ice cream. Watches and clocks. I think they're still going. 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 Cooking the naffy. Well, at least we got me a husband. I was a cook in the naffy. I travelled to Berlin through the Berlin Wall. I worked for them now because they took me. They took care of everything they did. They don't anymore. First Regiment, 300 soldiers. 300 soldiers? Yes. And after they went, my husband's regiment came. That's the Prince of Wales' own regiment of Yorkshire. Well, at, at least, least he got, got me a husband. Sorry, am I lovely? lovely. I was lucky during the war. There were days when you'd get up in the morning and you'd go outside and you'd realise it's not house next door anymore. That'd scare you. Till you remembered you're a survivor. I'm a survivor and so's my mum. We had pleurisy, pneumonia and TB when I was just 14. We both ended up in Hammersmith Hospital. We're okay, which is the important thing. We're survivors. I remember my mum teaching me to crochet in the war. I was only five then. We had a Morrison shelter in our garden. Two shelters in our garden. I remember they dug it out, the turf, put aluminium on the bottom and aluminium over the top, and then they relayed over the turf. I remember being sat there with my mum. And that's where she taught me how to crochet. We'd sit in the shelter and I'd listen and crochet. Cause you never quite knew what you'd find when you left. I still know how to crochet. I teach the ladies here. It's good to keep busy, isn't it? My mother wouldn't let me be evacuated. The closest thing I got was when she sent me to my aunt Leeds. She sent me on a train at King's Cross. I was eight and my brother was five. I had to look after him on the train. It was full of soldiers. To where they were going, I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I survived the air raid in London, so it's isn't really a lot, lot you can say. <sighs> if I could give advice to my younger self, E, keep your mouth shut and keep going. I was thick as three short planks. I wasn't really very good at school. Lots of information up here, but that means nothing to the educated person. If I, I add two, two and two together, it don't, don't make four. Dating. Dating! <laughs> Muriel's had a life, oh yes, Muriel's had a life. She's been through toil and strife, oh she's been through toil and strife. She's been there and done it, she's got a wardrobe full of t-shirts. She's been there and done it, oh yes, Muriel's had a life. It kept me asking me, let's go for a walk. Down to the Corporal's mess. He's scoring me down there, and next thing we know, that's it. That's, that's how we cottoned on, so to speak. That's, that's one way of putting it. Happy memory. Happy memory. Happy memory. Oh, well, my husband said, would I marry him? And I said, yes, I'd do anything once. That was 56 years ago. Edward, called Ted. We got married in Berlin. 56 years ago. Oh, I remember. The day we were supposed to get married, he was due to go on exercise. So he goes down to the colonel to ask permission to be excused from the exercise. And the colonel says, Why was this? So he said, I'm getting married on Saturday. So he said, To a German girl. And he said, No, to an English girl in the naffy. A cook in the naffy. And he said, You're not stupid, are you? Marrying a cook. Now I can't even cook for him. Still, as, as I, I say, say, we, we survive. survive. My husband was a... Was a regimental quartermaster sergeant. Regimental quartermaster sergeant. Regimental quartermaster sergeant. My, my husband was, was a regimental quartermaster sergeant. If he, he tells, tells you to sit, you sit. Put your head on my shoulder. Pull me in your arms, baby. We had a big white wedding, the feeling of tremendous happiness when you say, I do, and Ted said, I do. Put your head on my... Oh, find someone like Ted. Shoulder. Tall, handsome, and a smasher. Pull me in your arms. Gentle, humorous man. Lovely. Baby. We had kids. You can't call them kids now though. 54 one and 50 the other. Can't call them kids. They're bigger than me now. Scott was born in Colchester and Sam was born just up the road here. The military hospital. Hospital Road. It's not here anymore now though. Like a lot of things. Like me. We've been all over the place with the kids. He'd come home and say, I've been posted. And I thought, oh no, not again. Just finished packing the house of the boxes. Now we have to go again. I've been to York five times. Backwards and forwards like ping pong. Mind you, I'm teaching these lot in ear German now. I'm saying things like, and should against you bitter. Excuse me, please. So they all know German now. It said in lockdown to learn new language, that sort of thing. So I'm teaching these lot in ear German. That's, That's what, what I picked, picked up. up. I remember I was in Sola with my son, Scott, 11 he was. He was cold. So I went to the shop and I said, my kind is kalt, yeah? Uh, ich haben sie kalt. Oh, oh. I told her after she came back with these gloves. Wolle handschuhen. Shoes the hands. Handschuhen, wolle. That's one little thing I learned. That's how I learned things. Step by step by step by step. I'm on the top of the world looking oh, I love this down song. on creation and the only explanation I can find. Music, oh yeah, boogie on down. Me and my husband used to boogie on down there at the sergeant's mass. Yeah, even now when we go on the special do, they'll say, Muriel, no dancing, dancing on the tables. I've got a reputation, you see. And the only explanation I can find is the love that I've found ever since you've been around. Your love's for 
with me at the top of the world. Treasure. 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 Oh, I, I treasure, treasure my, my wedding ring and my eternity ring. Secret to a happy marriage? Find, Find someone, someone like Ted. Ted. Very few could. Regimental quartermaster sergeant. He thinks I'm a twit. He makes me laugh and I make him laugh too. Ted's influenced me the most. Yeah, always back to Ted. Seeing him makes me happy. I have no regrets. Not really. You can't look back. Can't go back. It's not feasible. You've always got to keep on going forwards and don't let anything stop you. You've, You've got, got to use, use this and this and this and look before you go. Shall I go that way or that way, that way or that way, that way or that way, that way or that way? Make up your mind and stick with it. I'm pushing the gates a bit now. Life's all about reaching the end of your piece of string. And you, you never, never know how long that is. I'm Muriel. I'm Muriel. I'm Muriel. I'm Muriel. Muriel's had a life. Oh yes, Muriel's had a life. She's been through toil and strife. Oh, she's been through toil and strife. She's been there and done it. She's got a wardrobe full of t-shirts. She's been there and done it. Oh yes, Muriel's had a life. <laughs>